Hey, Kristen. Hi, everybody. Hi, Laura, how are you? Can you guys hear me? Oh, wait a minute. We can hear you. Sorry, my microphone's low. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Um, so, um, Kristen, before we just go live, can I just, I just wanna make sure. Um, we are live, just so you know. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Um, no, we'll, we'll, that's fine. We'll do it in, in the normal course. Are you expecting everyone tonight or anyone? I am. Okay. I, it, Leah, Leah was sworn in today, so she should be here. I okay. sent the agenda. Um, yeah. I will, I will just tell you guys my voice. I, I do have COVID um, and I, um, my voice sometimes, it may or may not give out. So I apologize for the answer that. Um, I'm actually on like day nine, which is weird. Mm. Mm. Are you taking anything for it? Um, at Mark, we got the PAX loaded oh yeah it, it gave us weird side effects i don't know if anyone's had that experience no so no oh, there's rose hey rose and i'll even let you see me in a minute <gasps> okay there we go hi hey there how are you doing Hanging in there. Good. Uh, I made a mistake today. I have a, a limit of about an hour at a museum. Mm -hmm. I'm four hours today. Oh, wow. The gardener and the MFA. Which one? Uh, I went to the gardener and the MFA. Um, oh, my gosh. Two museums. Wow. But anyway. You're full of culture. I am. Uh, I've been mainlining culture. So I think we're just waiting for, do you think Jeff will be joining us? I don't know. Yeah. Um, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I did not go to the service. I went to the wake on Friday. Uh, oh, and this later. Congratulations, oh. Leah. Thank you. And so it's just Gloria, I think, right? I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Ah. If all else fails, I can take some notes until she arrives, okay? Wonderful. Should we wait just like another minute or so, or what do you think? Sure. I mean, after all, it's Needham time. Yeah. Have you ever known a Needham meeting <laughs> to start exactly on time? No. <laughs> oh. No. Uh, Did anyone talk to Gloria? Is every, as far as you know, she's planning on being here? I have not talked with her. Okay. Uh -huh. I saw her going to the service on Saturday, um, but I was off to do errands, so we didn't talk for a long time. Um, but we do have enough. We have a quorum. We have a quorum. Yes. It started? <clears throat> yes. Okay. So um, can we call the meeting to order? Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Um, so, well, the first thing we had on the agenda was the approval of the minutes. <clears throat> Perhaps we should wait a little bit and see if um, Gloria joins. Is that right? Why not just wait until she gets here and just go to the second uh, thing? Okay, perfect. Um, 
So this our our can that we keep kicking down the road, our local historic district. Um, so uh, from what I gather from Kristen, we need to have a meeting with um, Kate Fitzpatrick. Mm -hmm. And so Kristen, my my question was, what um, you know, is it is it is we need what what does she need in order for us to set this meeting up? Is it information from us to her or? Is Correct. So I would be as prepared as possible going into the meeting with what you want to present uh -huh. to the select board chairs of what you're looking for and what uh, questions you have for them. Because you don't want to just go into the meeting without anything prepared. No, so whatever you have to talk to them about, uh, because the meetings usually are just an hour. Um, sometimes shorter because they just try to hammer out exactly what you're looking to um, get accomplished during that meeting. Of course. Okay. So we have, um, I think we need to explain the process to them. Dawn, um, I, I would definitely need your help with this. <clears throat> sure. Um, Jen Darty, um, you know, has basically laid out a timeline, you know, at, at, which we've been aware of, but I don't think the reality of it is set in. Um, you know, there needs to be a preliminary study report that goes to the um, to the Mass Historic Commission and to the Planning Board. And then there's a 60 day period after that. Um, and we all I have the flow chart. Which, yes, Rose. There's Gloria. Oh, hi. So all I did was take a note about who's here. <laughs> Oh, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, okay. Did I have taken a roll call vote? To make sure to talk about who's here? No. 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 Okay. No. So Gloria, um, we, we pushed off the approval of the minutes until you came, and then we started talking about the local historic district update and the next steps. Okay. Um, and so we're in the middle of that conversation. So Jen reminded us that, um, we, so so we do we 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 do are on the docket to have a meeting with um, the town manager. Kristen has worked on that, but she's cautioning us that we need to make sure we have everything ready you know for that meeting we don't have a lot of time um and you know jen doherty like reminded us that you know there's there's a lot of steps right so uh, you know we need a preliminary study report for the mhc mass housing uh, mass historical commission and the planning board and then there's a 60-day waiting period after that um and if we look at the flow chart, Kristen, am I able to um, share my screen? Yep, yeah, you're able to share. Okay, so let me just show you guys the flow chart, which we've seen, I know, but just to make sure. Um, do, you, do you see that yet or no? Yes, it is okay. there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so, and Dawn, you know, jump in anytime, but there's a lot of things we have to do before we can actually go to town meeting with a warrant and I'm not, I'm honestly not sure whether uh it's realistic to think that we can do this in May yeah. uh, I don't think so because no. you've got to you've got to do the the town the select board has to appoint the study committee we can't appoint it correct uh, and uh one of the things that we have with the select board is we have three new members on the board who have not been told about the process. Uh, Kevin and Marcus and Kevin and Heidi are uh, have never had a conversation with us as far as I know. Right, um, right. And, and Leah and Joe need to come up to speed with this. Um, so, you know, I'll make sure that you guys get this. There's, there's a lot, there's a lot to it. Um, but I think we need to have the meeting and we need to make sure they understand the steps because if we don't at least do that, then we're just pushing it off again and again, right? Um, Don, do you agree? We, we, we need to have the meeting and just be
be prepared with the steps. And I think the flow chart's a good place to start. Yeah, I think just walk them walk them through it. And particularly underscoring the fact that there are uh, time periods in, in this uh, flow chart, that it's also a timeline. Right. Uh, Laura, is there a meeting set up with Kate? Not yet. Kristen, okay. I, well, I want to defer that question to Kristen. No, they want to see any documents prior to to be prepared before the meeting. So anything that you have to, pre to prepare, uh, we need to get it to them prior to, and then they'll set up the meeting. Okay, you're, you're saying them. Uh, was there not an, an initial meeting with Kate? Or what are we talking about? Are there Kate plus the? So the chair's members? meetings are always the chair, vice chair, the town manager, um, and if there's anyone else that needs to attend, and then it would be the chair and vice chair from this committee. Okay. But you said, but Kristen, your our first step is to get a meeting with. Right, but you need to submit any documents to them that they can review prior to the meeting. Okay, and do we do that through you? You can do that through me, yes. So, Don, I'm guessing the flow chart. Yeah, the, make sure it's the one with two, the two sides. Oh, you you sound like you can't talk either. <clears throat> yeah, I've got a, something. I don't know what it is. It's not COVID. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, okay. So that um, that's pretty comprehensive, and I think it. Yeah, it's succinct, right? I think that would yeah. be the document to start with. Right. Okay. So we will send that to you, Kristen. Um, and then maybe you can share that with, with Kate. And then if they need anything, I mean, there's so much information. We could send them the whole PowerPoint presentation, but I think that's a lot. Um, we, we, we can provide whatever documentation they need. There's so I would much. suggest what your timeline is, too, what you just stated of what it looks like for a timeline of everything that needs to be processed. Yeah. To me, yeah. And Don, maybe Don, you and I can kind of talk about that offline. Okay. And so when we see the flow chart, we can explain this is what we think the timeline is. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, there's no way based on what I'm hearing now, there's no way we're gonna get this at the May town meeting. I uh, agree. Okay. Maybe there's a, I don't know, maybe a special town meeting in October. I don't know. But we need to do something to get it going. All right. Okay. So Don will help me with that. Yeah? Yes. Um, okay. Um, okay. That's awesome. Does anybody else have anything they want to say about that? Rose, unmute yourself. Yeah, I did. Oh, good. Um, one of the things that um, I think that we can start thinking about are people that we would suggest to the select board. They, they will choose the people for the study commission, but um, we, they, uh, Kate and Matt said last spring, when Gloria and I met with them that uh, they would like very much to have suggestions because they don't really want to have to come up with a whole new group of people um, of course. to do this. So we should start thinking about that. And I think Don mentioned before we um, knew about Leah and Joe that you know we should wait and see who our new members are because we do have some expertise exactly in the categories that are um, you know, that are needed. Um, so that's, that's great. That, that will work out really well. Okay. okay. Anything else on that topic? Yeah. Just do we have any collective experience with the board of realtors? I mean, you know, in my professional experience, I could probably navigate that a little bit. Um, so I'm happy to sort of, to work on that.
Um, and I assume that this person uh, from the Board of Realtors has to be a Needham resident, right? Um, does it really say that in this flow chart? No. But we would want that because we want someone who's aware of local, you know, the local his historic inventory and properties and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I could reach out to the Board of Realtors and, you know, they've got a website and I can ask them, um, you know, for input on this. I'm sure they've had to do this before because there's a lot of towns with an LHD. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I can do that. Um, but you're right. I think maybe in preparation for this meeting, we can make some suggestions for people along with the flow chart. Yeah. Do you think, Dawn? Like we can say that we're already kind of sort of thought about that. And here's some people <clears throat> we have in mind. Sure, but I mean, maybe that's something we can discuss who, other than those that are required, um, you know, who, who else needs to be on it? We did get some advice from some of our um, comparable towns about perhaps somebody from the planning board, you know, and, and some of them okay. gave other suggestions. So we should probably circle back and look at look at those suggestions. Okay. So maybe you and I, or anyone else who's interested in in helping with this, can maybe have like a you know a, a little meeting to talk about it with just a quick Zoom meeting. Sure. The other thing that I'm not so sure about is the American Institute of Architects. Is it required that we go to that organization to get a recommendation, or uh, since we have an architect on our commission? Could that be somebody that we could um, include in the study committee? If Lee is willing to do that. <laughs> I suspect we need a, an AA certified architect, but I don't think we have to go through the middleman okay. to, to do that. Okay. And Leah is, correct, Leah? Yes, I am an AA member and a BSA member, which is the Boston Society of Architects. And and. We're talking about you without even, <laughs> you know, addressing you. We're assuming you'd be interested in something like this. Yes, I would be. I'd be happy to. Okay, that's wonderful. And then um, there's also Joe, who um, is, uh, you know, a developer um, interested in <coughs> preserving historical um, properties. So I think I think one thing, among other things what we were excited about was that we have these two wonderful qualified new members who can help us with this. Um, so let me think. Um, we've got to be mindful of um, not having meetings, you know, the sunset provision. But maybe Dawn, um, you and I can talk offline and we can just sort of sort this through and see what how we want to move forward. Yeah, that would, that would be fine. Okay. And, of course, and of course, we have representation from the Historical Society. Of course we do. And we just assumed that we have that uh, volunteer in our friend Gloria. On another committee, Gloria. I need, I need another committee. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so Joe and Leah, I will send you, <clears throat> so you have it, um, this document. This is from the Mass Historical um, commission on establishing it's just a flow chart but then they have a much more lengthy powerpoint presentation that i'll send you so you can see what's involved and okay. i do have a meeting um tomorrow morning uh wednesday morning with the um a member of the medfield historical commission stumbled upon that connection through work so i'm going to Kind of pick her brain and see what I can, you know, gather from her. They have a separate um, local historic district committee, um, but she said she'd be happy to, you know, help in any way she can with information and give us, you know, a contact person there if we want. Um, I think in our case, 
we're not going to establish a separate committee because we've got expertise and we're talking about, you know, our first, you know, property. And I think that would just add a whole other <laughs> layer to what we're trying to do. Um, okay, good. All right. Um, so, can yeah. I ask a question or please, offer yeah, something? Please. Yes. Um, so I believe one of my coworkers is on the board or has been involved in the historic commission in Milton. Um, I know they've got some stronger um, things that they're able to implement beyond just the six month stay. I don't know if they have a, a local historic district, but I can ask her if it's worth it and just um, pick her brain a little bit as well and see what the process has been for them or that what they have in great. place. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Um, and then whatever information you get, just um, maybe Don, can, can Leah just send forward that to you and, and, and me? Yeah. We have okay. to be careful, Leah, about not, you know, having group emails and group discussions about things. That's why, you know, I'm just checking with Don to see what he, or Rose or Gloria, anyone who's more experienced than me. Um, but we can do that, right, Don? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. That's Hopefully great. I can share it with you. Yeah, thank you. That's that's great. Um, Joe, do you have any questions about this or comments or anything? Uh, nope, nope. Happy to help out with it in any way I can. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else on this topic? Okay. Gloria, do we want to go back um, and? do the approval of the um, the minutes from okay. October 17th. Okay, so um, everyone got them, yeah? I'm not sure Leah got them, but that's okay because technically she wasn't a sworn in member for that meeting. Um, our, I, I think she, I Leah, got you, were on the, you were on the email list, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. She got them? Okay, yep. all right, perfect. Yeah. So, um, does anyone have any comments or questions on those? Uh, I just have one, just to when the next meeting is to occur. I think it's the last line of the minutes. I think it says November, next meeting, November 14th. Yeah. I can, um, De December 12th. Yeah, I can double check that right now. Um, no. What is that? As of those minutes, the next oh, meeting oh, would oh, be oh, November oh. 14th. Okay. It would be today. Right. Right. <laughs> got it. Got it. Sorry. I know. And Rose has asked to put the next meeting date on the agenda, um, which I can certainly do. I, I, at some point, someone recommended that we don't in case it changed, but that's okay. Um, we can do that. That's helpful. So let me just see right here. So for December, I have 12 12 as the meeting date. And then I have. Um, January 23rd for the meeting after that. And I can send out the proposed schedule of, or the meeting dates to people if they want. Do we know yet if that's gonna be on Zoom or we? Well, so that's a question I would ask of you guys. I mean, I don't know how you feel. I, um, I, I like maybe having the option but uh, we should probably ask the group what, how do you feel about it? I'm fine with either. Yeah, me, yeah, me too. They have their <laughs> pros and cons. I know. For in-person in meetings, I think are, are in a lot of ways easier to have discussions, but um, Zoom are more convenient. Um, Especially when you're, you know, finishing your dinner two minutes before the meeting. I know. <laughs> exactly. Do you yeah. have any preference? Or I mean, I like in person, but I again, I'm 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 amenable to what the group decides. So, I, yeah. I mean, I live right behind the Emory Grover Building, so it takes me about three minutes to walk to town hall. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so. Leah, I'm I'm fine either way. I think in the winter months, it's nice having the option to 
do it in Zoom just because it's older and everybody's always fighting some sort of illness and there's something nice about being able to just call in from your home, but I'm, I'm amenable to either. And so maybe we do hybrid? Well, we do it, we plan it in person, but we give a Zoom option? That's, that's fine. Kristen, hmm. is, does that work um, for you? Yep, that's fine. Okay, great. So we'll still need a link, but um, you know, if something changes and there's, God forbid, there's some sort of, you know, flu or COVID epidemic or whatever, we can, at least we have the option to just go remote. Okay. All right, so back to the minutes. Um, did anyone have any uh, comments or changes to the minutes other than Don um, wanting to put the next meeting date or should we no, do that? No, I, no I, I made a mistake. It okay. should be as it is, as Gloria has it. Okay. <clears throat> I would move that we accept the minutes as is. I have one comment. Yes. Um, it's very minor, but there is a note about my house and it says 1883. It's actually 1884. It's so minor, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> we can totally make that's that change. Important. Yeah. Thank you. That's it. Okay. So motion. And to I will second it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Do we have Aye. to do this roll call. Do we? I don't know. We want to do it just because to be safe. Don. Yes. Aye. Joe. Aye. Leah. Aye. Gloria. Aye. Is that everybody? Bros. Rose says, I. Yes, yes. Okay, and I don't, I think that I'm, who made the motion? Uh, I did. Uh, then Don I did vote yes. And Rose seconded. Okay, and I vote yes. Okay, great. <laughs> Wonderful. <clears throat> okay, um, so the next topic I had was um, the foster house. This is the property located um, within the Castle Hill um, compound, I'll call it, which is involved um, in a town um, a pot a potential sale to a developer who it's all public, it's all on the on you know on online, um, who would potentially develop this into um, you know, a whole bunch of uh, units, um, but, uh, but the plan to my knowledge does, does not include saving the home. Is that correct? Hello. Hi. Hi, there is a, a point that Don made after seeing the same Chronicle uh, piece that I saw, mm -hmm. which was um, a house actually uh, rehabbed, in other words, gutted, uh, and would it take five million, it would certainly take $5 million to bring the house up to code, but maybe it would not cost that much to bring it up to code for several units in the house and keep the house. Uh, yep. I, I know. Um, I, I, is something any, wrong with that? No, is any, um, any renovation that extensive requires you to bring the whole building up to code. There's a threshold below, like if you're just fixing something, you know, you're okay. But if you, once you breach a sort of percentage or value, um, you have to bring the whole thing up to code. Besides it would be a place, it would be a public space, um, you know, at least in the sense that people will live there and go in and out. So. Um, I don't think I don't think that's a, an option that they have. Well, oh, the, I, the idea, I think, is to keep the facade 
yeah and and create units within that frame uh, and then build additional um yeah units throughout the community which is if you you know as you drive up and down um Nahan street that's what you know the estate the old valley estate next to the community farm there you could oh. see the old houses up on the hill and around it are mm -hmm. additional additional units uh unfortunately i think the footprint of the the, the, the sort of the, the proposed layout runs over where the house is that's, that's i think i don't think they've they haven't shown um as far as we can see much interest in doing something like that so i i did a little research and i'm, I'm just you know i'm not sure this is that we we can do anything about this at all but um kristen can i share my screen again i think that's a yes um yeah you still have access you have you'll have it the whole time okay great thanks so um this is not this property is not listed on any inventory which you know uh, i'm not sure why or, or or why not but the person charles wheeler he's got four names foster who you know who owned this property is a significant person in history and owned property in brookline and in marblehead which was listed um, on the inventories in those two towns. Um, I just want to show you guys really quickly the presentation from the um, the I guess the realtor who is um, has listed this property just because it gives a lot of really good background. Um, let me know when you can see it. Um, yeah. So, you know, we don't have to go through the whole thing, but it describes, you know, the property. Um, it's basically a 10,000 square foot house. Um, it's got 26 rooms, 12 bedrooms, and like five full baths and three half baths. Um, it's a wood frame building with stucco. Um, construction, really high ceilings. Um, the land comes with, uh, with you know, it's like 56 acres. So there's, you know, there's the, the property where the house is, and then there's, um, you know, there's all kinds of, and there's some wetlands and stuff like that. There's all kinds of, you know, fields and access to the river and stuff like that. Here, just some pictures of it. I don't know if anyone's gone there. Did anyone take that tour? I don't know. Um, let me just find the photos. So here's like the layout. I mean, this is a huge, huge property. Um, and you know, I don't, I don't know why it wasn't listed. I, I, I know that you know there was a request. You know. The historical commission's done some requests to uh, for funding to to list additional properties. Um, just looking for the photos of the house, but I, I, it's just the last ditch. Like, is there anything we can do at this point? Where clearly, here's the photos. This um, person was a person of influence. He started um, Brookline Bank. Um, he became the president of that bank. He became the um, treasurer of a piano manufacturing company. Um, he had what he called his summer home in Marblehead, which is where this is now the Boston Yacht Club, that property. Um, here's just pictures of the outside. Um, and here's the inside. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's not your standard home. And the person attached to it has a lot of history. So, you know, I don't know. Do, right now, I don't see any way in the what they're planning going forward that they're, I don't see anything saying they want to save this property at all. And because it's not listed, they can do whatever they want with it. 
Laura, I just have to step away for a second, okay? Yep. So do you, I mean, is there anything at all we can do about this? I mean, it, I don't know why it wasn't listed. I'm not sure what happened, but it just mm -hmm. doesn't seem. The house was on the Heritage 3 list, the third list of potential additions to the inventory, um, which sort of got stuck in limbo. Yeah, Part of the, problem the Heritage was, Project. That huh? was what was called the Heritage Project. Yeah, well, Her Heritage was sort of the inventory assessment edition yeah. rubric. This was Heritage 3. It was the third, the third go round. Um, those houses for those, none of those houses have been added to the inventory. Um, the process of consulting with the owners, this, 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 those of you who've been on the commission long enough will remember, um, several unsuccessful attempts to hold, a homeowner's reception to talk to potential historic, you know, historic inventory members to gather them with current inventory members to get some um, conversation going and some understanding about what it means to be on the inventory uh, rather than just sort of approaching them cold and saying, hey, you want to be on the inventory, in which case most of them just say no. Um, so... You know, it just, it just never, you know, we, we sort of had, we, we planned steps that never came about, but as a result, the house was never approved for the inventory. And then in the last couple of years, there's been, um, you know, the owner was not, was not, um, well, available. Yeah. So, uh, so it, that discussion never happened. Technically it, we could just put it on the inventory. We don't actually need approval. We like we we prefer to do this with approval because we like the inventory to be a beneficial and cooperative resource, not a not an adversarial one. Um, but there is actually nothing in the bylaw that says we have to seek owner approval. Yeah, I mean, I was looking through the bylaws and I, I yeah. couldn't see that. We're not, but... we're not required to uh, to get anybody's approval to do this. Uh, we but... do because it does, you know, it does affect it does affect the property. So it's um, um, advisable and and desirable, you know, to to work with the owners when we do this. Um, even though subsequent owners, you know, have no have no real say in the matter, but. Um, you know, if we did just say vote, you know, vote today to put it on the inventory, then we are imposing a six month demolition delay. We are creating another right roadblock or at least another consideration. Right. For the deal. Uh, within within this whole Northland process. Right. Um, remember that Northland does not sell the, the land to the town for $2.5 million until the permits have all been obtained. And so look like by right, there's some, um, here's just some facts I did in my little research. Um, it, it, it looks like by right, they can develop five uh, single family homes with, uh, Two acres of land um, that can that that is within the zoning for someone to do, but that's obviously not going to make this developer a lot as much money, right? As what um, he that is assuming that they go through with the agreement with Needham. If they back out entirely, or say, "Okay, all bets are off. We're going to do what we want," um, I believe they can put. 30, you know, they can put 25, 30 units within them. You know, so given, given the, no, in a two acre zone, they've got 65 acres. Well, this is a special zoning thing that I, um, that is in this um, right up here. Let me special see. zoning is the cluster housing. Mm, this is, um, and, I, and I'm just reading from this report. Um, let's see. Um, and maybe this is all moot. I'm just, 
it just seems crazy to me that they can't incorporate this somehow in their development. Um, you know, and it, it just seems sad that this house would just be leveled by a bulldozer. Um, so I'm just, you know, wanting to just see if, and I know, I know it would mess everything up. I know we can't really do that. I mean, we just have so many problems if we decide to do that. It's just like, no one would be in support of it, but is it worth just somehow mentioning or trying to just sort of bring up somehow to the select board or to somehow to just say, look, you know, we've done this research and, you know, I mean, it's our, isn't it our responsibility to yeah. try to preserve homes like this? Um, that That's where I'm coming from. I don't know how it, what anyone else thinks. All right, so here we go. Well, the property is located in the town of Needham, rural residence conservation RRC zone. This is predominantly a single family residential zone. However, other uses are allowed, such as agricultural, religious, blah, blah, blah. Uh, dimensional requirements that apply in this zone and they give those what they are. So basically what it says is, you know, based on this special zoning, they can by right just do the the five, you know, single family homes with two acres each. And don't forget there's conservation land and there's a flood zone and there's all kinds of buffers and stuff like that. Um, but I just I just want to get the committee's feeling on like, you know, to is there any more awareness we should be providing to the select board on on this um, property, or should we just let it be and move on? You guys are way more experienced with this than I am. If I can just say mm -hmm. something as someone who's currently working on a project that was a historic mm -hmm. home that is being converted into units as part of a larger project. Um, it's, I mean, seeing it come to life, it's amazing. And I'm glad we were able to keep that historic house in that particular circumstance. That was a different town that did have requirements and as part of the deal, um, the owners needed to maintain that historic home as in order for the deal to go through. So they had that leverage, which we don't have in place, unfortunately. Uh, but I will say being in the thick of it right now, it's a, it's a lot. There's unforeseen conditions and for coming up to code, like um, it depends on the density of the project, what needs to be brought up to ADA, but at the very least amenity spaces need to be all the plumbing, all the wiring, all of that needs to be brought up to code. Um, so it is a huge undertaking and I can understand why the developer wouldn't necessarily offer to do that if they weren't being held to. Held to. So personally, I'm kind of caught because it's a beautiful house and I, I wish that it had been on the list, but I also understand from the architect and developer side of things that um, these are hard projects to undertake. Yeah, that makes sense. If I could say as well, I, I would agree really on that. I mean, just from experience of doing a lot of old house renovations, I'm actually taking on a, a, a full restoration of a, a old, uh, 1920s home in West Roxbury coming up next month. And we were through it today with our architect. And it's, it's, it, is, it's, it is an undertaking. However, with that being said, I think it's incumbent upon this commission to at least bring it to the attention of the select board um, with, you know, the request that they make, you know, at least a statement to the developer. Um, say, hey, you know, have you given any thought to it or, you know, is there something that we can be done along those lines? Uh, I think to say nothing um, would be, you know, I, I agree with Leah. It's, it's, it's definitely pretty late in the game right now, but I think 
at a minimum, we should at least bring it to the select board's uh, attention and say, hey, you know, it'd be great. I know we're late to the game with this request, but um, it's a shame this isn't on the historic register in Needham. And it'd be nice to see them try to do something with the building if possible. I kind of agree with that, Joe. And, you know, I don't know how late we are because the town, we didn't get a lot of information. That was, that's one of the- Right. We're not, we're not late. This really only came to light in any detail in September, October. Right. It was only announced okay. in September. The details are really only um, made available just before town meeting in October. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Don? Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think we need to make some kind of a statement. Um, Gloria and Rose, in, in your experience, has the commission ever um, ever made a statement about a property that that to bring it to the attention of the um, select board? I mean, it's, it's not that we're taking any action necessarily, because we don't really have any action to take. But if we at least say that we're aware of this situation, um, this is perhaps an option that they should consider. So we can at least be on the record to say that we are in, you know, we are taking action, whatever little action we can take um, in regard to preservation. Yeah, to those, I, we I can't don't... just, you know, it, it, like we, that's our job, right? Mm -hmm and to try to protect historical assets. And so I don't think it can hurt, you know, if, we, if we're silent on this, I feel like people might say, well, where's the historical guy? I mean, like, wh why, aren't, why isn't anyone saying anything about this? I agree that we should um, make some sort of presentation to the select board. Um, I'm trying, I can't think of a private home in which we have gone, we've had this kind of, um, issue before private parts, certainly um, there have been public properties that we've spent a great deal of, you know, time and advocacy effort on. Um, Emory Grover being the most recent, but Town Hall and some others. Um, but also, well, I should say private properties, uh, Baptist Church, uh, the First Parish Church, these have all come, you know, come to us for, um, you know, in the, in the course of their their CPC applications, come to us for support and advocacy. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't. I think Northland tied this up pretty neatly in the sense that um, you know it's an all or it really looks like an all or nothing mm -hmm. um, deal, um, but certainly it's worth going on record and. You know, and bringing and and bring it to the bringing to the attention of the town and the select board that you know we understand what's happening. We understand possibly the necessity, but you know certainly it's not it's not what we um, can't it's not what we like. It's not, we don't we don't. It's not what we like to see, and it's not in the best interests of historic preservation. And it's not inevitable that there is no alternative. Right. So how do we do that? Do we send like some sort of how do, I, I I'm I just don't know how to do that. Um, I would send either Kate or Miles a note saying we would like to basically we'd like time on a select board agenda. And then you know show up at the meeting and, and make this make this presentation. Um Okay. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see when that can happen, you know? Yeah. Um, I think, I think, I think I want to go through Kristen. I mean, I think that's how we're supposed to do things, right? And just say, you know, we, we have a concern about this. We want to just make our, our, our voice heard. Um, this this is this is kind of how we feel, and we're not really sure what the best way to get this message. But we sort of want it on record that um, 
you know, there, there's history behind this this property, and I, I I haven't seen anything in detail from Northland. It sort of seems like they're just, from what I remember, and I and I could be wrong. They're just like sort of silent on the house, and someone had to ask what, what's going to happen with the house. Mm. But I could be wrong about that. I, no, I don't think you're wrong. It's just it's been, you know, I I don't know if it's because they're not you know, committing full design consideration to the project until they know whether or not they get their approvals. But I think they're just, you know, they're just not saying what well, doesn't need to be said at this point. Yeah. Because um, I can't believe they, you know, I, I can't believe in a planning sense that they haven't gotten farther in their conceptual plan than has been, you know, revealed, <laughs> has been discussed in any of the um, current postings. And they may just turn around and say, well, it's not listed on the inventory, yeah. but that doesn't matter. We still, I, I agree with Joe's point. Like we still need to voice our concern only because we don't want, you know, the public to look at this and go, well, where's the historical commission on this thing? Where they, they, they don't say anything. They're not, you know, concerned. I mean, we need to make sure that people understand that we're, we're aware, um, you know, we're, we're concerned. Maybe it gets something going. Who knows? At least for one thing, it does in fact um, make the historical commission a real part of the discussion about uh, demolishing uh, properties. Um, and we know it's not on the list. And you know, uh, it's it's worth uh, making the statement. Absolutely. Um, so I suggest that it be done. And if it, I don't know whether it would be appropriate to do it in uh, tandem with uh, yeah. like Reg, um, who also has um, uh, credibility with the town. I'm a little worried only because he's an interested party. Yeah, I think this would be... Um, this would be our, our, our okay, that's fine. Yeah. So if I'm happy to like, I feel like what I want to do is craft an email to Kristen for her to share with, with Kate or the select board or whoever. Mm -hmm. um, so if I craft like a draft email, Gloria, you know, could, could it have been Joe, could a couple of you like just take a look at it and tell me what you think? Mm -hmm. Happy to do so. You can send it out to everyone. They just have to, everyone has to send comments back to you. Okay, I can do that to the committee, but yep. right. But only individual responses, so you can't hit reply all. Right. Okay. I think I want to do that. It just doesn't sit right with me, you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to say, should I should I say it's listed on um, on, you know, his other homes are listed? On one's on Macris and ask the state register the other on, and one's on the town of Brookline. And that ours was in the process. Okay, yeah. that's right. We have, we have the B forms. It's ready. You know, it's essentially ready to go. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll I'll do that. Feel free, anybody. Feel free to jump in and say whatever you think. Um, okay. okay. Any, anybody else want to say anything about that situation? No. Okay. Um, and that does lead to, and it's kind of under other business. Um, but the question of whether we can, can, do we do we pick up our review again, try to get some money for an additional go round of properties that should be on the inventory. Uh, if we do that, we have to complete the first one, the the, the most recent one. We do okay. actually have some okay. outstanding funds and outstanding deliverables. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe we can talk about that. Which is something we should. <laughs> so, so that gets done. And what would that, like, if we want to talk about that next meeting, what would we call that? Like, uh, is it Heritage, the... Heritage 3, you know, basically tying up Heritage 3 loose ends. Um, completing completing the Heritage Three project. Okay. Okay. Good. 
All right. Um, I don't know whatever happened to the library focus groups. Does anybody have an update on that? Uh, they, uh, yes, they have been held. Uh, the one that was not well attended was the Zoom for uh, the in-person for families. And I understand families would like to do Zoom rather than uh, you. Um, you. You know, bring kids to the library. So there is another one being scheduled for families. And you are all invited to go to the library website and fill out the questionnaire uh, about how things <coughs> Uh, in the library because the uh, consultant is extremely good. Uh, I was at one of the meetings and she is excellent. Um, and I think there will be a lot of changes and they will be good changes. Okay, thank you, Rose. Okay. Um, will we get a cafe? I think it's a possibility, my friend. I really do. <laughs> we have a library of things, and I've already taken something out. You know, so, I made that suggestion at the last, the last, um, uh, the last um, strategic planning go round. And well, um, yes, the, but that was a di different time. Gloria. Claire even took it up. The, though the prospect of a bar didn't get very far, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a coffee, a coffee shop was being considered. <laughs> Great. Probably not a good family initiative. The bar? Yeah. <laughs> good for the parents, not for the kids, right? Mm -hmm. um, is there any other business that anyone wants to bring up? I mean, we did talk about the completion of the heritage um, project. Is there anything else? Uh, there's another thing that um, I think would be a lot of that would be helpful for Joe and Leah to take a look at, and that would be uh, if Gloria, you can find the material about the houses we have lost, because mm. that gives the flavor of uh, what uh, what has been going on. I yeah. know I I don't like looking for things because. Oh. I've got it. Got it? I know you have. Yeah, I do. I have it. It's um it was never that was also not completed. Um so what's what would be sent out is partial, mm -hmm. but um you'll get the you'll get the idea. Right. No, 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 no. Um and also there's a um the uh warrant, the request that went to the CPC that lists about seven properties, I think, that were that were at that time were lost. Um, and that's on the website, but I think I have a copy of it here too. Um, but there's probably more since then. That was in 2011, mm -hmm. that last request. So yeah, that would be great, Gloria. I, I don't even know how one goes about like tracking all these cries. It's, it's a big job. I don't know how. Oh, I have a, I have a list. I have a database. Okay. I mean, it's it's basically um, it's not all. Um, though that would also be interesting. All houses that have been demolished. It's actually we, what we were doing was all houses on the inventory that were subsequently demolished. Yeah. Um, I yeah I think it would be almost impossible to um, track. You know every house that is every historic house in the in the you know the the generic sense rather than the inventory sense yeah there's unfortunately so many of them but um yeah we were tracking inventory losses on this mm -hmm. which is which is the kind of information that our new commissioners need to know i yeah. think yeah yeah um sure and it's also something I know I'm sounding like a broken record. I think it's something that the town needs to, that the town meeting members need to know and the public needs to know what we have lost. Um, mm -hmm. And it's not because the uh, commission hasn't been trying. It's just because we have so little leverage. Yes. 
Yeah. Um, the other thing is, you know, we used to circulate or, you know, make copies of this big old book of B forms. Um, we have most, but not all of them now in digital form. And well, what's a B form? Um, I'm sorry? What's a B form? Uh, the historical commission forms, the house forms. Oh, okay. You know, the, the, how, the inventory forms, yeah. the, you know, with the yeah. information. Um, and I'd like to figure out a way to complete that. Mm -hmm. And then we can just circulate it, you know, online rather than certainly not going to make any more copies of that notebook. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and probably um, am I the old, maybe Jeff and I are the only two that still have the notebook. The rest of you probably just don't have any inventory list at all. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's necessary information that needs to be upgraded so it can be circulated and, and referenced a lot more easily. Um, they are mostly but not entirely on Macris as we've discovered. Yes. We try and find stuff on Macris and it's not there. Um, so just wanna make sure Joe and Leah, are you familiar with Macris? Aliyah probably might be this. I am not. So, Glory, can you kind of explain to Joe what that's about? So he can look stuff up he wants. Macris is the, I don't remember what the, the uh, acronym is. It's cultural <laughs> resource something. Yeah. yeah, mass cultural resource. It's, it's inventory something. Yeah, it's the um, state, it's the documentation and index of properties on the state historic register. But um, I don't know if it also includes town historic, you know, town inventory. It inventory does. Material. It, it does, but I don't know if that's because they've gone on to state listing or if it just does. Um, and, and there's also a town listing, Joe. Remember, yeah. I went through this exercise of trying to sort mm -hmm. of match them up and the, the, the macros, the state site has more like landmarks, you know, that's why they, it didn't match up exactly like yeah. bridges. And it has, has weird stuff like the, um, the bridge over central, the highway bridge over central exactly. Avenue, which only dates to, well, now dates to about two years ago, but the previous one was from the seventies, I think. Yeah. But so if a property is listed on either one, either macros, the state, inventory or on our town inventory, that's where we can impose the um, six month demo delay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But after six months, nothing we can really do. Mm -hmm. That's a whole nother conversation. Yes. <laughs> yes. Whole nother conversation. Um, and there are the missing B forms on Macros. And we know they were submitted and for some reason they were never put up, but that's yeah. a long-term uh, project. Yeah. Not yeah. From now. yeah. No. But we have, we do have them all. So the uh, task becomes assembling them, assembling them in digital format, getting the photos incorporated. Um, so there's, there's, like there's a little bit of work there, but once that's done, it should be um, fairly easy to maintain and certainly easy to circulate. That sounds like a request to CPC for some money for some intern or somebody to do that. Yeah, it's not even a big, huge, you know, it may even be as simple as um, a high school yeah. intern. We actually, the first, inventory, which was only on paper, um, was all, all except the first 30 houses were, were digital records were typed into a template. You know, basically, they were transcribed into a template um, for all of except the first 30. Of course, the first 30 are the oldest and the ones we tend to reference the most frequently. <laughs> hmm. but, um, but also photographs need to be incorporated into that as well. Um, Heritage 2 is pretty complete, and Heritage 3, even though it hasn't been voted and approved, is uh, it has errors, but it's it's substantially complete. Um, so 
Yeah, maybe um, someone who's willing to do some transcription and can log in some community service hours at a fairly, you know, low, fairly low impact. You know, they could do it on their own time and piecemeal. So we'll see. All right, that's that's definitely something. Um, do we need CPC money for that? Do you think, or can we find? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think it's that big uh, in monetary terms. I don't think it's that big a job. Okay. I don't see it as more than like twenty or thirty hours. Okay. And you said there was some funding left from the Heritage Three. We have no. There isn't funding left. Oh. There is, yeah, well, there is in the sense that we haven't paid the contractor. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> some some well, percentage. Um, but I only recently got a copy of the contract from Dave Davison. So I need to go through it and see what was defined, um, you know, as a deliverable that hasn't been delivered or, you know, just to, to see what extent they've complied with the contract and to what extent we owe them money. A part of the problem is the um, person who was doing it left for another job, sort of in the middle of the, she got the she got the drafts out, but then left for another job. So the um, preserve the draft preservation plan, the um, corrections to the forms, and then the sort of general consulting that she was supposed to do about how to position the inventory for prospective, you know, how to how to sell the inventory to prospective inventory household owners homeowners. Um, sort of never got completed. So okay. I'm not even sure the company's still in business, but that's it. <laughs> maybe right. we're out of business because we failed to pay them. Maybe we should um, follow up with that next yeah. meeting. Just, okay. Um, On the, the doing the work side of things to complete the Heritage 3 stuff, I was just, it might be a long shot, but I was doing a little quick research here that Babson has a real estate concentration um, that might be some, yeah. I don't know if we could partner with Babson and see if they would be willing to like, do a work study or something with some of their real estate students or something like that, yeah. just since they're in the community. That'd be great. That's a great yeah, idea. Because there's a, there, there is a, there's still a small research component as well. For some of these and there might be another major that's better suited but that was one that no, that's actually good. that would be that would be it's a great idea yeah. um because some of that research is deed research so yeah 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 that's online stuff yeah i mean leah if you want to you know, check into that that would be helpful for sure yeah i can see what i can find out all right um Anybody else have any other business or anything to discuss? No? And I don't know, Kristen, did you come back? I did, I'm here. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So are we, do we cover what we needed to cover? Okay. So um, does anyone want to make a motion to adjourn? And I think that has to be a roll call, right? Um, yeah, I'll make the motion that we adjourn and I'll have second our that. <clears throat> I'll okay. second that. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, so um, uh, let's see, Gloria. Aye. Um, Leah. Aye. Joe. Aye. And I vote aye. So we are adjourned. Okay. Happy Night, Thanksgiving, everyone. all. Thank you. Happy Thank you, guys. Hope everybody feels better. Don, I hope you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> you too, Laura. <laughs>